all right guys it is Sunday with another crypto market price range uh, let's see how the market is doing remember I am NOT a financial advisor always do your own research before investing and never invest more than you can afford to lose all right so we're gonna start out with Bitcoin um, we got some great news coming out for them uh, the uh, El Salvador uh, to hand out up to 117 million dollars in Bitcoin to the citizens so it looks like uh, the uh, El Salvador president Naib Bukele uh, has offered to give away $30 in Bitcoin to all citizens who decide to download the government uh, Bitcoin wallet called Chivo uh, which is slang for cool in Central America uh, that's pretty cool actually so they, he's really trying to get the country in a different direction banking systems ain't doing it they're going more in a different direction that's great news for Bitcoin uh, another one here is uh, crypto is about to become as ordinary as cash so digital currencies are making their way from the margins to the mainstream and that's something to celebrate once we understand it and if you're already into cryptocurrency and you're already starting to understand it, and you're already getting involved and you're already buying some of the stuff you are like you know 10 percent of the world that don't know much about it yet you know so it's uh definitely definitely it's a good thing for for cryptocurrency um here's another one from uh from twitter uh from this is from documenting bitcoin uh it says 70 percent of uh salvadorians don't have a bank account so now they can do it with bitcoin so now they're their own bank and this gentleman's a little video stuff but uh, practically uh, for him to pay his bills in El Salvador, uh, Milton Sabrera says he would have to spend an hour on the bus and another two hours waiting to make payment in line. And that's not online like we do it over here, in line, like literally standing there and watching someone else's back for two hours, waiting in line to be able to pay your bills. And because now with the new Bitcoin system, uh, uh, he pays them instantly from his home with Bitcoin so man it's like things that we take for granted here they definitely you know that's great for them is moving forward uh, another great thing uh, great news for the US Sec uh, Securities and Exchange Commission's that they, they just passed in June 21st um, the NSCC 002 which is right down here um, it's uh, practically what they go through is that which means that the SEC will not regulate cryptocurrency which is a good thing for us but instead they're focusing on uh, people that are shorting the market because uh, what happened with GameStop and AMC stocks uh, that these hedge funds and market manipulators they're they're bringing these stocks down to extreme manipulation to the point where it's just you know detrimental to the companies but twice now they got caught because a group of people out there do the opposite to you know start buying a lot more than they're shorting and it put them in a bad situation where these hedge funds have actually called favors in and paused the, the market which is against the law and so they've been caught using you know they're using people's money with the hedge funds so now they're in a bad situation where they got to cover it so because this is going on and they are being too aggressive with other people's money now the US Security and Exchange has passed a law to protect that so they are going not going to be able to do that as much as they did before All right, so that's also great news and you're gonna say well what how are they gonna do that pretty easy uh, when you read it through this big huge article they uh, practically when the security exchange when they see that a company or a hedge fund is shorting the market they can ask them to prove the money because before they would do what's called leverage just borrow money from the exchange but this time if they don't have the money to cover what they're shorting within an hour all their short uh, trades will be liquidated will be removed so that takes off the pressure from the market to keep dropping so it's great great news you know so they definitely you know they've been exposed and that's great good news for us for the little people you can say all right so what's going on with Bitcoin so we've still been holding in the same area since May 17th since the big drop and um, 
But with all this great news that's going on, and you know, even though we do have still pressure to the downside, and unfortunately have another cross coming down, that might be some more pressure. This this also could be a good thing because this is what what I'm seeing for right now is kind of what's called a cup and handle formation, and it's really really good. If I can find what I'm looking for here, oh, it's called free line. There it is. Uh, whenever you have a stock, I'm going to draw on the side here so you guys can see it better. When you have a stock that drops down and then it sits sideways for a while, it can be one you know, candle or it can be a range. Eventually it goes right back up to where it came. It starts to drop down a little bit and then it takes off. And that is called a cup and handle formation. And for some reason I'm seeing that right now with... Even though we have this big, huge red cloud, it can easily, you know, anytime, can just jump in there and start working its way up. So it'll be interesting to see because these lines are about to get closer together, and it can easily go from being underneath it to getting above the lines. So it'll be interesting to see if it's going to do that formation or not, uh, because at the same time, we're still being watching that make sure it doesn't break the 30,000 line over here. The 30,500 because if it does then all bets are off and they'll drop could drop all the way down to 19,000 and then be in this range down here between 19 and 30,000 so it'd be kind of interesting to see if it does break above it we know for sure that the cup and handle formation is going to be is going to be coming in if it goes above the 40,000 then then we know that we're definitely running back up again so this is definitely something that I think that I'm seeing um, just with all the great news with the Bitcoin and more people are buying and more stuff. I just see more pressure to the upside than the downside. But what time will tell. All right. So next we have Cardano. So Cardano is finishing up their um, Alonso Blue for for their um, platform. So that way they can start uh, companies can start getting, making money on it. So here in July, the Alonso White is going to start kicking in. It means they're going to bring in some more people, more companies, test it out, make sure there's no nothing that they need, nothing they need to work on. You know, any any type of security re, uh, precautions. Then this is the time to fix it. So we're definitely moving along, moving forward with this. It's really really good. Also, Cardano at the same time. Um, oop, guess I had it twice. It's uh, working on Gogan. Uh, which is you know smart contracts that's where we're phase three right now so once this is set up which is going to end somewhere around September if there's no delays then we'll go from step uh, step three to step four which would be scaling which is growth and that's going to be awesome awesome thing for them for Cardano um, some other three things that are happening another big Cardano ADA deal is in the works in Africa uh, Cardano is early stages with another government partnership but which country is it uh, is it going to be this time uh, the end of April so Cardano developers input output global IOG announced significant partnership deals with the government of Ethiopia and Tanzania but now there's another country another another part that's going to be going into we don't know yet who it is because as of right now until the deal is completed we're not going to know so great great big things are happening for Cardano so same thing with them, um, you know, they got this big red cloud, but same thing, they got some great stuff coming out, so, you know, they might be sitting through this for maybe one more month in July, maybe, July, August, and then things can start going back up for a lot of these coins. So, as of right now, it's got pretty good support at $1.23. It could drop to $0.99 cents or a dollar. Um, just, yeah, it could. But it probably stay within dollar seventy seven and and in, in, in a dollar somewhere in this range will stay plain. So until we get some more confirmation of that it can start running, it looks like it, it will definitely stay above the dollar for right you know for right now, which is good. All right, next we got Engine E N J. So what is Engine? Um, what to know about it? With blockchain based gaming platform, Engine is more for gaming. Uh, they got some great stuff. Uh, a virtual world where game items can be collected, traded, and sold between peers. Uh, imagine taking a powerful item like a holy hand grenade from one game 
into another freely. Uh, this is the pre uh, pre premise and power of NFT in the engine ecosystem. So they're, they're taking this, uh, remember the movie uh, Ready Player One? They're definitely heading in that direction with a lot of these things uh, expanding better. They just have a lot of great ideas that are going to be coming out with it and engine will be behind it. Uh, it kind of gives value to the NFT items. That's practically what engine does. So how are they doing in price right now? Um, they, they make it a little bit to almost four bucks, drop back down, and now sitting around 94 cents. They are unfortunately are being pushed down just like everybody else in the market. Um, this could go all the way down to 55 cents somewhere on there. Let's see, 60 cents, sorry. Around, around 60 cents, and it'll probably stay in this area for our, between a dollar and 60 cents for a while until we see where the market wants to go. But at the moment, it is being pushed down, uh, just like the other coins. All right, next, uh, Ethereum. Uh, some news for Ethereum. Uh, the Bank of Israel uh, tests Ethereum technology for digital uh, shekels. Uh, this is written by Bloomberg. Uh, it also, uh, in a recent digital uh, scale trial, the Bank of Israel uses Ethereum technology to support the digital payment system. Bloomberg reports it is, uh, citing a Bank of Israel spokesman. The digital payment system can positively impact the economy with faster, easier, and secure payment processes. According to the report, the Bank of Israel issued just last month. It also includes a call for smart, smart application ideas uh, running on the digital infrastructure. So, it's, man, more and more countries are starting to get more into cryptocurrency. Uh, so, where the other guys were doing Bitcoin, Israel is doing Ethereum, Africa is doing Cardano. Man, big things are happening for all these coins. So, that's why all these down pressure that you're seeing is... is temporary you know it's just temporary so if it's temporary that means it's a good time to pick up some coins you know all right but i'm not an advice i'm not a financial advisor so just saying all right what do we got here so these guys same thing big cloud red pressure um it is holding pretty good at a 1800 um it could fall below the but uh 1300 1400 but as of right now, it is holding pretty good around there. It definitely is going to want to come back up, actually, the 2295 area. It's just uh, it's a little overextended to the downside. But the pressure is still down for now. But if it does hang in this area, then you're looking be in the range between 2900 and 1400, where the market just kind of goes up and down until it decides to go bullish again. All right, next one. Helium. The Helium miners, this company Nebra, man, they're still sold out. They still, man, these guys are batch number five. They're they're practically cannot sell anymore and, and because these guys have to release what people are repurchased back for the third quarter. Um, so next one is batch number four coming up in July. Oops, sorry about that. July for the indoor one, August for the outdoors, and then they're going to be doing the external ones for the other next group, batch number five. Uh, but they're still sold out. And there's new companies coming in, building their machines for the helium mining. So these guys are definitely rocking with this stuff right now. And just like everybody else, their prices are falling. But they're doing pretty good holding the drop. Like They didn't drop like 80% like a lot of other ones. They dropped... You know, half of it by 50%. They got great support. It could drop down to 10 bucks. Maybe if the pressure continues down to 750, but it looks like for right now they're gonna stay. They're gonna stay in the $10 range, $10 and $13 range for a while until it shows, you know, some strength to the upside. But. All right, for our next one is Chainlink. Chainlink, of course, we got the, the 2.0. Uh, they have all these new things. Chainlink 2.0 focuses on Oracle technology, advances in seven key areas. So what they've done is they 
you know they got the hybrid smart contracts which is one of the things they added new uh they got scaling they have practically all these things that you can that you can go through and you can read they um i'll post all these things underneath so you guys can get to the pages and just read them up but definitely um what they've done so far is amazing and what they're going to be doing next is even better they just gave it they gave more power to the people or the, or the companies that want to use the the product and let's see how they're doing all right so they were only up to 52 bucks and they dropped down to 16 dollars. so they took a big hit by almost 80 percent there's some sentiment buying down here below the 16 dollars so every time it dips down there it just keeps being pushed up um, they do have a big pressure to the downside and they got another they have another cross coming up on me here it's a little bit overextended so it looks like it does want to go back up to 24 bucks so if it does it might be short-lived a little while unless it something big happens and it get it breaks above the 24 dollar range otherwise if we are on 24 and you know, they'll keep coming back down to the 16 dollar range so for right now that is what we're looking at that until if it finds strength all right next one the central land um, nothing new from the last uh, video that I made the uh, central land just sold for nearly one million dollars for this parcel and um, so that's they're still investing a lot of money into it and also uh, the central land it's um, has a community grant so for coding people that you want to you know apply for these grants uh they they have these websites here for you guys if you if you're into coding and stuff like that for the game uh so they definitely the center line it's definitely keeps growing it's a good it's a definitely a strong company and let's see how they're doing All right, so they were all the way up to dollar sixty-three, dropped down to forty-five cents. Another one that hit like almost eighty percent. Um, let's see what we got here. It looks like it's not even respecting this line anymore, so I guess we get rid of that. That's more accurate now. So, same thing. A lot of pressure to the downside. It looks like every time it drops around thirty-seven cents. It just keeps fighting to get back up. It's fighting to get back to the 60 cent range. Um, it is a little bit overextended. If it is, if if it can get above the 55, it could run all the way up to 70 cents. But it looks like it's just going to stay down here for a little bit until they get momentum going. So Bitcoin really is the one that's holding everybody down. Once Bitcoin starts doing that cup and handle that I'm that I'm I'm seeing. I'm the only one that's saying that right now, so let's see where that goes. Um, these guys were all going to start running. Um, all right, so Matic is next. Uh, Polygon. Uh, since the last news we heard about Mark Cuban, Polygon hasn't said anything for a while. He's been pretty quiet. So you know he's been investing money onto these guys. He's putting more money into Bit. Uh, excuse me, Chainlink. Uh, so more more money into cryptocurrency. He's putting and polygon so those are the two companies that he announced let's see what's going on with these guys all right so here's another one that's doing the same thing also remove that it's not really respecting that anymore so yeah i can remove that one too really it's got in a big range right now so it could drop, most likely will drop to 85 cents, and then try to work its way back up to a dollar or so. Um, un until it gets momentum, same thing, it's going to be staying down here for a little bit and then work its way back up. So, yep, 85 cents around there. 80 cents will be the range that we will be moving. I will say by the time it falls, my uh, 250 MMA should be moving up and giving more better support holding the 80 cent line. All right, next, Theta. Theta got three days left to release their mainnet 3.0. Uh, they have, man, they are moving so great. They got so much support from so many companies. 
Um, if you look at their validators, yeah, Google, Sony, Samsung, uh, just amongst the other name finance, these guys are big names in here that are part of the validator nodes. They have a lot of backing from a lot of companies, uh, not to mention uh, what they're going to be streaming is anything that relates to sports. Uh, here's how you hear all the investors, Samsung and a bunch of other companies. Uh, what they're going to be streaming is, uh, you know, you got Longstar, NASA, uh, and probably Hollywood, World of Poker, anything that's sports relating or games, they're, they're probably going to be streaming it. And if we come to your cell phone and anything that requires Internet access to to watch stuff, and look who's in there here as well, Chainlink. Interesting, huh? So it's working. These guys are working really well together, and these guys are going to be huge. So interesting enough that they went all the way up to 15 bucks before they hit almost 16 dollars, and now they're sitting around six bucks. I've been picking up a lot of these things too for my portfolio as well um, because the 3.0 is coming out, and they already have another uh, government. Uh, accepted their um, bid for to get something with more access to more space for the uh, for the servers and all that stuff. It's really good, um, but it, you can read that page. It, it goes breaks it all down. So they're moving. They're moving really, really good. So these guys are sitting around six bucks. Got great support. Very little uh, red cloud ahead of them, so they could easily just jump up to eight, nine bucks and start running to the top side. Doesn't mean it's going to be a runner. Doesn't mean they're going to break the $11 range, but it does show more strength to the upside than the downside. So that's that's really really good. If it does go down, uh, it'll be around three dollars, four dollars. But considering that they're coming up with oops, what another three days, they're going to be releasing the 3.0. If I can get there fast enough, yep, another three days. They're doing pretty really good. I would say this is going to be more up than down. All right, next, V Chain. Uh, v Chain, the government just gave them another contract. Uh, they um, they practically uh, coronavirus vaccinations certified with V Chain blockchain technology in Cyprus. So now when people get vaccinations, they can have it on their phone, you know, in the blockchain that they've been, people have been vaccinated, and that would be like your proof that you've been they've been vaccinated. So VeChain's just picked up another contract. That's among all the other things that they do. Uh, they deal with, um, oop, this was a little higher. It's supposed to be a little, yeah, right here. Uh, they deal with carbon uh, solutions with companies uh, where, you know, they're making sure that emissions is low. Uh, they, they keep track of all that stuff. Or they keep track of uh, natural gas, automotive parts, um, Anything that's expensive also, they do it. Uh, agriculture, make sure that dates don't expire before things get to the shelves. They, they, they're, they're in so many things that keep track. And, you know, big companies uses them. You know, BMW, Walmart. So these guys are, are huge, huge, and they're still to grow. And it's interesting that even though they are doing all that, that they're only sitting around seven cents. It's like, and they could even drop even lower for just based on what seen on the charts. And they're actually doing really good. It's not like they're going to go anywhere. It's just for some reason with all this pressure to the downside, these stocks are just have to kind of get past this. But as of right now, they're, it's fighting to get above the eight cents. But when it's able, once it's able to do that, then I'll start moving. But for right now, we could be looking at dropping out of five cents. If it does, it'll come right back up and I'll, work between nine cents and seven cents again eventually once these lines get really close together the stock can get above it and it can start running so and then we'll be interesting to see once it gets around 14 cents and where it wants to go from there but great news for these guys they're doing really good uh, but for right now again they're just waiting their time and it's all really waiting on Bitcoin here if this guy dropped goes sideways for a while and comes back up it will definitely bring everybody else up. Then next year, a lot of these coins are going to break free from Bitcoin. And I don't think Bitcoin will have much influence on them anymore. But, all right, guys. That's all I got for you guys. Um, not sure what happened there. Oh, there it goes. Um, if, uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe. So 
you don't miss out on any future videos. Uh, if you would like to, uh, for me to cover any other currency, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, your comments will always help me grow and do better for you guys. All right, guys. So, so until then, I'll see you in the trading room.